Okay, so this is my first stream on Twitch. Uh, for those who don't know me, my name is Carl. I have a podcast called Boat Expressions. I guess I would have this one be a, um, I guess a series I have called Random Thoughts on YouTube. And I, I have to turn myself to help because uh, I'm getting a lot of feedback. And this is this is kind of new to me. So um, I guess the only thing I kind of want to do right now is to talk about Kanye, or at least something that happened with Kanye and involving Lizzo. Just something out there. This is one of the things I like to do, just talk about social issues, geek stuff, whatever. And this was shared with me, and I wanted to, to talk about it with everybody else. I'll probably upload this to YouTube later, but I just wanted to uh, put something out on Twitch. Uh, basically, it was something about Kanye made a comment about her weight at a Toronto concert. Um, Sorry, got to scroll past this. Uh, this is from Billboard. This is Billboard.com. Um, Lizzo addressed the crowd. Excuse me. Uh, she said the about was it? No, sorry. She says, I feel like everybody in America got my mother effing name in their mother effing mouth. For, mo for no mother effing reason, Lizzo told the crowd. I'm minding my fat, black, beautiful business. She added before asking the crowd, can I stay here? Who can I marry for that dual citizenship? Uh, the R&B, I wouldn't really call it R&B, whatever. Comments come after Yee's interview with Carlson. Oh, oh yeah, he was on Tucker Carlson. And this, this is something else I'll, I'll probably get to with Kanye later during which the rapper shared his thoughts on the on the demonic promotion of obesity by the media that he said was part of a plot intended intended to hasten the, the, geno the genocide of the black race. First of all, first off, I find it funny that there are black media people that Kanye can go to. There's Roland Martin, uh, he can go to the Breakfast Club, uh, I know Angela, he has something, and there's somebody else. Jaleo Hill, forgive me if I got her name wrong. But there's Black people in the media that he can go to, but he chose to go to Fox, talk to Tucker Carlson, of all people, to talk about something that he thinks is a plot intended to hasten the genocide of the Black race. Somebody who has no issue with police gunning down. And I'll, I don't even want to say innocent black people because I feel like that I don't want to have to place the value of our lives on if, oh, if they just follow all these rules. No, it is a thing to where even if somebody committed a crime, there was a chase, whatever, they ran out, Bring them in, try them, do whatever. Follow the, the laws that set up. They're supposed to, you know, supposed to come with all that. Not shoot them ninety times in the back when they don't even have a weapon. You know, at least give them the option to have that that fair trial that you know they they always claim you know that we're always supposed to get. Uh, and also just the uh, demonic promotion of obesity in the media. I don't think that there is a demonic obsession or, or a demonic anything, whatever, being promoted. I think there's people talking about more about loving themselves, but I still see far more about the um, about the the specific body type that you're supposed to have and you know want to have whatever. 
um, hell, the guy playing Namor in the upcoming Wakanda Forever movie was body shamed by a comic book artist because he said that he's better in better shape than him and he had his back turned and you saw his disturbingly it, it didn't look nice but he, he was saying that that he was more in shape than Jesus, excuse me, sorry, I've been up all night that he was more in shape than an actor you know, the actor's in good shape but let me uh, keep reading this fool just with uh, Kanye. When Lizzo loses 10 pounds and announces it, the bots on Instagram, they attack her losing weight because the media wants to put a perception of being overweight is the new goal when it's actually unhealthy, you told Carlson, it's demonic. First of all, those are two different things. The bots, whatever bots that, that they may that he may claim it is, is not the same as the media. And that's the problem with, with, with him going on Tucker Carlson and saying this because he's not gonna have that pushback because he's saying the stuff they want to they want to hear. He talks a lot about being a free thinker, he talks a lot about um, you know, all you know giving the perception that he's above a lot of stuff that he talks about. Uh, however, at the same time, sorry. yeah, he talks, he talks about that, but he doesn't have anybody to push back on him. It, it doesn't make, it doesn't make sense. Uh, like, yeah, I have heard the people on, um, when Lizzo, and I want to say even like um, Adele announced losing weight, there were some people saying, oh, that's fat phobic, it's blah, 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 blah. And that's just, unfortunately, some people. Could some of that have been bots? Maybe, I don't know. Um, unfortunately, we have seen too much evidence of people just being horrible to really comment or not, whether or not it was actually bots or whatever. Um, let me see, during, uh, the article keeps going, during the, 2022 MTV VMAs in late August, Lizzo also took a moment to not so subtly throw shade at comedian Ari Spears, who made fat public comments about her during an interview with The Art of Dialogue. And now to the fat itches that got something to say about me in the press, Lizzo yelled into the mic while accepting the video for good award I don't, I don't really even know what that's saying. <laughs> uh, anyway, when she accepted the award for, for her video for about damn time, uh, she said, you know what? I'm not going to say nothing. A few days prior to the VMAs, a clip, a clip went viral of Spears dissing Lizzo during his appearance on The Art of Dialogue in which he was asked whether or not he thought the star was a good songwriter. I can't get pack. I can't get past the fact that she looks like a, a well, I'll just say shit emoji. The comedian replied. Now, first off, is that the end of the article? That's that's kind of a crappy article. I sh I'll, no, no, it's my fault. I should have read it all the way through uh, before. Anyway, so first of all. If anybody has seen has seen Aerie Spears, he's the last, he don't look healthy his damn self. He always looks like he's sweaty. He seems like he's out of breath. You know, he's he's not that not that it not saying that it is okay to I won't say body shame, but just talk about somebody who looks like that. He's not even attractive himself to say how somebody else looks. Secondly, they asked about how you felt about her as a songwriter. You know, you can have, it's, it's one of those things where it didn't, you to her appearance had nothing to do with the question that was asked. He just took the time to talk about somebody else. First off, or not even first off, but it's, it's just another thing of just like, <laughs> nobody, the only thing people are talking about with Airy Spears is him getting into it with other people. Uh, that that skit he did with the kids that you know blew back horribly, 
And even then, it's more of a conversation of how it's affecting Tiffany Haddish because she's the one that's still doing things out in public. Eric Spears still has his, has his stand-up career. He's touring. He's doing this and that. But you don't really hear about it. Like, you probably wouldn't even hear about it until, like, after it left your city. You know, he's 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 known best for something he has done. Eric Spears is one of those people he's best known for something he's done in the past and nothing about anybody being excited about what he's doing in the future. Like, nobody's saying, or sorry, I won't say nobody because there are some Aries Spears fans. There's probably very few people saying, oh, I can't wait to see that new Aries Spears special. Or I can't wait to hear that new joke from Aries Spears. Like, no, they're probably seeing who's going to talk crap about next on some Vlad TV video or something of the, the such. Because it's it, it seems like he's one of those people who they get famous off talking about other famous people. Uh, or they get clout and, you know, I, I can't say too much about it because here I am and I'm talking about the three of them. The only difference is that, you know, I'm a nobody. You are you have the career, you have the platform, you have the skill set to tell jokes and do whatever and prop yourself up like that. But say you want to take shots and, and other people, whatever. But the thing with Kanye, you know, getting back to him, like I said, yes, he goes on Tucker Carlson, and I, I need to watch a video later on with Roland Martin talking about that. But Kanye, and, and recently he he had a whole thing where he was wearing the White Lives Matter shirt. And it's, it's just, you, I've never been the biggest Kanye fan. I never disliked them. I like some of his. I like some of his music. I like that, whatever. But I've never spent money on anything that he's done. Um, as far as his clothing line, none of it actually looks appealing or whatever. None of it looks like something that I would buy or even hope. You know, even think about it. Like e even if I had, even if money was not an option, that is not anything that I would want to own. But he's been saying and doing things for, for a long time. And one of the things that's, ir that's been irritating me about everything with Kanye is, is people's excuses for him. Oh, he lost his mom. People lose, you know, people lose family members all the time. Um, and it's like, oh, well, he he's 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 gone crazy. He's blah blah blah. But he's this and that. He has the money to seek out therapy if if that is what he needs. He has the money and resources to to I don't want to say medicate himself, but he has the resources to deal with the issues that he has regarding his mom or his uh or his his bipolar whatever. He chooses not to, and he's surrounded by people who encourages that. But what irritates me is that, you know, people want to say, oh, he thinks for himself, he does this, he does this, he does this. He does. All these things, all these accolades they want to push on him, but then they're saying, oh, well, you know, this happened when he got with the Kardashian family, and oh, well, now he's not with them anymore. It'll be good if you this, this. I could be wrong. It could be a lot. I don't know. The, the closest thing that I've seen to any, I want to say advancements, anything helping Black people in regards to Kanye West is when Kim went to Trump and got a bunch of people released from prison, you know, from, from you know, whatever, mess of charges, what, what have you. I haven't seen Kanye really speak on anything. And here, here's the thing. Some people think it's like, oh, yeah, I, you know, I'm doing this for our people. You, you bad, bad, you bad mouthing black people to white people is not you trying to do something for the community. You, you just trying to run for president to to split the thing. You going to going to Trump and you know talk about oh you're the only good you know strong father figure role model. After he came out to Obama, like, you never said that about Obama. You, you know, it was like, oh, seeing this hat, you know, makes me feel like a superpower and this, this hat. And it's, 
it seems like he's starving for attention. And and I keep thinking about that song. He's like, once I get my money right, then they can't tell me nothing, right? It's like he told us what he was going to do, but then at the same time, he still wants to act like he's still that same person. And a lot of people are, are hurt. And and I'm I'm more so confused because I I never seen the Kanye that they apparently saw. Yes, he had that thing about George Bush doesn't care about black people. But then you have, like I said, him rolling with Trump and all this stuff now. So my thing is, was that first person even real or what? You know, did he sell out? Did it's like what, what's what's going on? And it's none of it makes sense. Um, and it's getting old and tiring. Only and only tiring because, like I said, I don't I don't really follow Kanye. Uh, I don't follow his tweets. I don't follow any of that. It's just stuff that pops up, and it's just like uh, the frustration part. The frustrating part is the people around. You know, or the people who would look at that and use that as a justification for the stuff that they say and do, who will look at that and say, oh, you know, there's Kanye West standing with uh, Candace Owens with White Lives Matter shirt. And then that would give more empowerment to people to use that speech to, to go about how they've been going and to carry on being the trash people that they are. And make it more different and make things more difficult for people who actually want to do something. Because I haven't seen Kanye actually do anything to to garner this. Uh, I don't. I can't think of the the phrase that activist standpoint or this enlightened standpoint. I I don't. I I haven't seen that person to where people are. Like, oh, you know, he, he's a he's a leader. He's this and that. It's, it's just, I don't know. Because, I don't know. And it seems like trolling. Because, it, okay, I'm sorry. I, I need to get myself together. The White Lives Matter thing is so irritating for two reasons, at least. No, for, for right now, that's the only thing I can think of off the top of my head right now for this. One is because there was never an issue. There was never a point in time. There's never been any type of thing anybody can actually truly say to where, oh, yeah, we need to put this out because yeah, white lives are in danger. There was never a point in time in history in this country to where you can say, yeah, people don't really care if white people live or die. People don't really care about what's going on with white people's lives. People don't really care about this. We have to let people know that things are happening to white people and it's bad and we need to do something about it. When majority of people in positions of power in this country are white. So if there's something going on and they're not dealing with it, then that's just not a white issue, that's a societal issue. Just like issues going on in the black community, we talk about it, but it's also a thing of a bigger systemic societal issue. Because as people keep saying, as the things that we talk about with cops, oops, sorry. The issue going on with cops, you know, as, as we see, We've been talking about issues with cops for the longest, and then something like the Uvalde shooting happens, and then we see how much we see how they are above putting their own safety above the safety of children getting gunned down, and how quick they are to shoot an unarmed black person. But then, what are somebody who actually? They'll, they'll shoot them because they say, oh, we, they, they thought they had a gun. But when there's somebody that they know had a gun and they're supposed to, and even their guidelines say they're supposed to go in to reduce the loss of life, they chose not to. Hundreds of law enforcement officers across different state and federal, you know, divisions, whatever, failed to stop one guy in a school. And they lied about it. 
and everybody's all surprised, but except for us, we're just like, we've been telling you they've been doing this stuff for years, for decades. And now, and, and, and now with the, and now people are seeing all these things that we've been talking about all this time and it's blowing up on the national and worldwide stage. And they're acting as if nobody has said anything about it. Uh, drug drug epi academic, epidemic, you know, we've been talking, you you know, when black people are on drugs, a lot of, you know, a lot of drugs that are brought into our community because we don't have the resources or the connections to get them there. Oh, we're looked at as the villains. We're looked at as, oh, that's a, that's a character uh, flaw. They're, they're weak. They're all this. Now all of a sudden the opioid epidemic is going on. And this is from people, you know, misusing medication, whatever, sometimes from, from licensed professionals. And, oh, they need help. You know, we, we need to be there for these people. We need not to condemn them. And you see the difference in, in how, you know, these things are treated. So as, as I said, there was never a issue of white lives mattering in this country. And second, the only reason these shirts exist is in contrast, is in opposition to Black Lives Matter. And like I said, that's so frustrating because <sighs> they have the saying, all those, all, oh, all lives matter, all lives, which is painfully absent in this conversation right now with the shirts. Oh, what where, where are all the all lives matter people right now talking about these shirts? If all lives matter, then why are they just singling out white right now? And they're okay with that. And I guess it's a thing of just like, well, you have Black Lives Matter shirt, so we'll have White Lives Matter shirt. And once again, it's a thing of it, this is only in opposition to the Black Lives Matter shirts. And they will say, and Kanye said before, it's like, you know, it, it was a sham, it was a scam, blah, blah, blah. And I will say the movement is not the same as the organization. Yes, there have been people in an organization who have misappropriated funds, who have used the, the funds for their own means, who have probably done some other things. That does not speak for the, also, just to go back on that, if we're to say that a couple of these people in some of these positions doing this, if that means that the whole organization in its entirety is flawed and a scam, what does that mean for police departments? What we've seen, as we say, Uvalde, as we've seen police departments gun down somebody, lie about it, and then when body cam footage comes out, shows how much they lied about it. When they lie on stage and get away with it. Um, all the things with Trump, they, all these things, no, I'm going to just leave it to Trump. With politicians in general, when we see them do things and it's a, and it's hand waved away, it's like, oh, but that's just these certain people. That is never any a lot of things involving black people is never given that level of the benefit of the doubt. To where, oh, it's just this person doing this wrong thing. No, it's oh, well, that's that's how they do. That's how, you know, it's this whole organization. And it's, once again, it's frustrating to see somebody who, who is doing nothing for the community, who's doing nothing besides putting out ugly, overpriced clothing and making so-so music. There's nothing to, there's doing nothing to push the culture forward in a meaningful way. Um, and it's, it's just, it's just frustrating to, to see you know where where he's where he's gone, and once again, like I said, because this would be a talking point for other people. This would be something they could point to, and then you know you have the other people who say, "Well, yeah, Kanye's just spitting facts," but they don't want to hear it. A lot of stuff Kanye is saying has some of the stuff that does make sense. He's not the only person 
who has said some of the things that he said. And there, and you will, you'll see people saying, oh, but you know, they don't want to hear this. When he's talking about this, they don't want to hear this. It's like, apparently, no, you didn't want to hear it because you didn't want to hear it when somebody, when a non-rapper said something about it. They didn't want to hear, you know, when somebody, or or when they go deeper and actually give you the history about different things, um, you know, that's, that, that is actually speaking from a place of trying to educate and trying to start a conversation as, as opposed to somebody who's just like, well, I have an album dropping or I need this attention, so I'm going to do this. Because that, that's, the, that's the thing. This is just to get attention. Because what's the conversation that he's hoping to start from this? He's not really hoping to start a conversation. That's why he wants to go to somebody like Tucker Carlson who's going to throw him softballs, who's going to eat up everything he's saying, who's not actually going to push the conversation forward. Because ultimately, he's a coward. Um, and I think I'll leave it right there. Um, like I said, it's my first stream. Uh, don't know if I'll do others. I probably will, but I just wanted to get this out here. Uh, thank you for whoever comes across this. Uh, you can check them out. Check them out. You can check out my podcast, the Boat Expressions podcast, uh, Boat Expressions with Carl. Um, on what is it? Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts. Uh, Spotify, wherever podcasts can be found. You can also find me on YouTube. Uh, Bold Expressions Podcast on there. Um, thank you for checking me out. Hope you, I don't know if you're going to like on Twitch. But I'm putting this on YouTube too. So like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. Thank you. Love you.